welcome to Back by Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is an unboxing of the Indiegogo backer version of the Crow Tarot. This is the indie version. Um, obviously, I do have the mass market edition. I will link that um, up in the corner or wherever it goes. Um, so you can have a look at that. I will be doing a comparison video at some point. So um, I bought this secondhand, pre-loved. So it's um, just arrived this week. So I am thought I'd share with you my opening of it. Um, obviously this is the indie version so so it might be it's going to differ from the mass market that most people have um so this is the gorgeous box and then it's got fly through the veil on the top the uh, crow tarot by mj cullinane and then it has the crow tarot on the bottom printed in china limited edition backer deck so yeah the front and the back they fly in opposite directions but it's the same image reflected uh, so it's in this tuck box um, and obviously you get the book the book separate and it's quite a substantial book actually looking at it quite quickly so it's this uh, it landscape setup that's the back of the book so we have pro tarot fly through the veil and you when will you begin that long journey into yourself, Rumi. Love that. Um, so we have a big picture of the card, a colour picture of the card, um, description, um, and then a prompt. If anything, if I could do anything in the world, it would be, and then keyword and date. So you can make your own notes. That's really good to make your own notes about the card. And there's a prompt on each one. Of an activity to do and then note section of your own keywords and dates i love that that's really good more decks should do that so we have death the moon so only a couple away from judgment and then we have the world and then we go into the minor arcana Ace of Wands, so it's the same for the Minor Arcana. We have an image of the card, this um, bit of a description there, and then a prompt, and then your keywords and a date, I suppose, or the date that you studied it or went through that card. I really like that. And then it goes through the swords. Pentacles. And the cups are in there as well. Queen, King. There you go, and then a blank notes page at the back, and then a bit from, this is deck number 8 of 325, I love that, so there's a bit from MJ there, and whoever backed this, it, they were called Chris, so, I don't think that's who I bought it from though, so the, I could be the third owner of this deck, the sun has just come out though, so, um, so yeah, so we'll go into the deck now. So obviously inside the tuck box flap, it has thank you written on it. Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a little white book in there as well. So we have Crow Tarot, Fly Through the Veil, special Indiegogo backer deck. Um, and then it's got Major Arcana, the number, the name, and a description there with a, yeah each of those so it's just a little white book that you normally get so i've got the big book for the workbook with the prompts and then obviously the little white book as well for a quick reference minor arcana it goes through the wands king queen knight page traditional naming cups swords pentacles and then a thank you from MJ there, love it. And then another thank you on the card because of your support of the crow, for the crow tarry, this bird has grown into her wings, peace MJ. I love that. Right, I'm gonna put that over to the side and then we'll have a look at the deck. So we have the Fool. These have borders, whereas the mass market, I don't think have the same borders. So Magician, oh, I love the back. I'll show you the back in a second properly. Uh, the High Priestess. The Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, 
the chariot, strength, the hermit, the wheel of fortune, justice, the hanged man, death, temperance, the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world, ace of wands, the two of wands, the three, the four, the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the page of wands, the knight of wands, the queen, and the king of wands and then we go into the cups for the ace two three four five six seven eight nine ten page i love the little crab knight the queen and the king of cups then into the swords for the ace, two, three, I love that three of swords, four, five, six, beautiful, I love the water, seven, eight, nine, and the ten of swords, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king of swords. And finally into the pentacles, the two, the ace, the two, the three, four, five, six, seven, looking more magpie-ish there, eight, nine, ten, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king of pentacles. The back of the deck has this gorgeous design which is different to the back of the uh, mass market beautiful i love it this blue is gorgeous and this yellow just pops against it it's like a golden yellow sunshine yellow it's beautiful you can see the the crows on it absolutely stunning and um, the cardstock's quite thin papery thin but uh, it bends it doesn't seem to stay bent um so they're quite thin but a thinner cardboard than the mass produced but they do flow over each other beautifully they do shuffle really well uh matte so well somewhere between the two printed but i'd say more matte there's no fingerprints sticking on it either so the five of coins five of pentacles i like it it has a different energy to the mass market and that's kind of good because they are slightly different but the other one feels darker this feels more light and open and um naive than the other than the other deck i don't know if that's i don't know it's slightly different but i will do a side by side comparison but it does feel lighter and i want to say more youthful not that it knows any less, just that it's a more youthful feel to it. It's beautiful. It's a stunning deck. Beautiful artwork. I've always wanted the indie version of this. I've actually backed the second Grimalkin and from MJ Cullion. And who was the what's the other one I've got? I want to say Night Garden. The Night Garden one. And I'm planning to um order the crow oracle that she's got um coming out in december so yeah i am a big fan of mj absolutely adore her work um i like it i like this it's making me smile which is always a good thing and if this green color that is on everything is just stunning i love it um yeah, the cancer in me is loving the turquoises and the and the subtle colours, the watery feel to it. I think that's what it is. It's got more of a watery, earthy feel than an air, whereas the other one's got more of an air fire feel to it. 
it's nice though i really like it but yeah like i said i will do a deck comparison side by side of the crow the two versions of the crow um but it's beautiful absolutely stunning if you can get a hold of the um indie deck i would recommend that you do because it's lovely it's gorgeous and it's beautiful so i hope that's shown you everything you want to know about the crow tarot indiegogo version um thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye for now